exciting and get, you know, stay away. I mean, what would happen to you then? My plan would be on killing non territories, especially because, um, uh, like, especially, um, so when I was up in Manchester, um, when I was at Manchester Road and stuff, like, I've never been told that I'm not allowed to see them, like, that I'm not allowed to. But, but, with them no, 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 okay, sure, but uh, has your family ever raised concerns or questions yeah, about Scientology? Yeah. They have. So, to what extent? Were you told to handle them? No, no. Not so, in all, any way. All, these, all these thousands of stories around the world about families being broken up and people being held, I mean, there's this book out at the moment, Blown for Good. You're aware of this? I'm um, not Are you aware of the situation in Australia at the moment? Um, with the. Australian Prime Minister or something? No, well, the, one of the senators in the Australian yes. government. You are aware of that? Um, I love that. I mean, this, this, is, this is massive, mate, because obviously, like, the United Kingdom and Australia is quite heavily connected, as, as I'm sure you're aware of being a you know, British like, man yourself, right? But all these things being brought up in the government, you know, the Parliament of Australia, saying, I've had people coming to me saying that they've been forced to put mortgages on their houses, forced to have abortions, forced to work, God knows how many hours a week for almost nothing. Does this not kind of make you think, hang on a second, whilst this has not necessarily affected me in the way that people protest in the United Kingdom, do you not think for one second perhaps that Scientology worldwide as an organisation has a lot of things wrong with it? Uh, Potentially. Potentially. But you just, yeah. you just, you just believe that it helps you. It doesn't affect you directly. And if these things are going on elsewhere, there's no way for you to really know whether it's right or wrong, other than reading what's out there. Uh, well, like I say, I've not like seen any of this in my own eyes. I haven't seen. I don't know a lot about what's going on in Australia. But, uh, well, that that kind of surprises me, to be honest, because. And the Australia situation is quite a big one. I mean, it's basically things like, you know, people like Anonymous and a lot of other people who have been anti-science, the Church of Scientology for a long while, all the things that they've said have, um, have suddenly come to light and have actually started to be you know, put in front of an, an official government. You're not, you're not concerned by this? I mean, the thing is, like, at the end of the day, let's say you were working for a company, and this, uh, I don't know, an oil company or something, and this oil company was dumping toxic waste all over sort of, somewhere in, you know, some sort of third developing world country, and you were there in London working away, you thought, well, I don't see this personally. Would it not concern you that overseas your company is doing things to, you know, only benefit itself? Which way? It's a bit different when you're saying people are being forced to put mortgages on their and stuff. It's like but these, this, isn't, this isn't a one-off account. I mean, in my eyes, Scientology is designed to make money. Um, at the end of the day, it was created by a man whose mind was obviously a little bit more uh, active than everyone else on the planet, to put it one way. But, I mean, you know, the guy is quoted saying that, you know, getting paid a penny a word is for chumps. The best way to make a million dollars is to start your own religion. Dianetics had had already been in existence, it was the study of the mind, and all of a sudden the change of the study of the mind to Scientology the religion. I mean, do you follow Scientology as a religion or as a lifestyle? Uh, okay. All right, okay, let, let, me, let me ask you one last thing, right? Um, although I'd love to carry on talking to you. I haven't been able to figure this out. I've gone to your website, I've gone to loads of other websites. What is Scientology? Uh, flexible religion. Scientology itself is a flexible religion. They give you tools to handle your own. When you say tools, what do you mean tools? You talk about tools and you talk about tech. Yeah. But, I mean, what is, well, you can't, you can't just put an activity, you can't have an activity and then just say, oh, this is tech. I mean, it's what other people just normally do without calling it some sort of specific yeah. tech. Yeah. So you're doing it in a specific way, or you just decided to focus on this activity more because it's yeah. important and therefore called it tech? Well, I said, yeah. Give me an example. Okay, well, give me an example of the different types of tech that you guys talk about that help people with their you know, day to day lives. Uh, Elton, SS, Study Tech. Okay, what's Study Tech? Tell me more about Study Tech. Um, study Tech is all to do so with proper ways to study, the most effective ways to study, because you have the most effective ways to study. Right. Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's basically tech is just something that then 
further uh, goes into how to do something. So, I mean, you could have driving a car tech. Yeah? Okay, I mean, the, the thing is, mate, I've got to say that this is a refreshing and sort of unexpected pleasure because most Scientologists, I mean, I've had Scientologists come up to me and sort of try and steal, like, sort of stuff off me and sort of, like, harass me, push me away and sort of, you know, physically. I mean, like, some people get really, really kind of defensive over this. You don't seem to be like that. Do you not have a concern that the further you get into Scientology, perhaps, you know, the more more like these kind of people you could potentially become? I mean, you must have seen these. You must have seen these accounts. It doesn't... You haven't seen anything about any Scientologist acting irrationally or acting in an unlawful manner or anything like that. But there's oh, quite... Yeah, yeah sorry about some, like, supposed OTA chasing some guy. There's, there's, I mean, there's a lot out there, mate. There really is. And these, these people are meant to... I mean, you guys are meant to be the most ethical people on the planet. And you act in the most irrational of ways. Again, it doesn't affect you. You just get on with things and live your life how you want, right? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, as I've always said, I've never had a problem with a Scientologist, and you seem like a, you know, quite a nice guy. Uh, I'm not going to have a tack at you, but... If you haven't, although you claim to be aware of the reasons why people are so against your organisation, and you haven't even looked into these things, it might be an idea to do. You know? I haven't got a problem... Oh, I've got some see how we can start with your... Uh... So what, what are your thoughts on, like, OT3? Uh, I, I mean, you've only... Like, been... Until I see the Chase's official version of OT3, what is it said, right? So until you actually get to OT3, you're going to reserve judgment and... Okay. But, I mean, there's websites out there like xscientologykids.com. 